All right, I want to talk really quick about overcomplicating your funnel. So when you're creating a launch or building a funnel or kind of a mix of the both, something I see all the time is when people overcomplicate the funnel. Now, I'm going to talk about how that occurs and how to fix it. So one of the ways that people overcomplicate a funnel is by having multiple different softwares kind of doing the same thing or different pieces handling the same thing in different parts of the funnel from different pieces of software. So for example, you might have your lead generation in MailChimp. You might have your purchasing in Kajabi. You might have the funnels built in ClickFunnels. You might have all of these different things working together and you probably have a WordPress website on the back end, right? That you're not even touching. So one of the big things I talk about a lot is technology bloat, you know, having too much technology that does the same thing, right? So why is this a problem? Well, first it's costing you a lot more than it should. And this is much more important when you're just starting out. If you're a multi seven figure business, you know, you can get away with overspending on your software, but ultimately do you want to, right? Imagine, you know, just these little tweaks, little kind of consolidations and and figuring out what your software does and how many pieces are handling the same thing could save you several thousand a year, right? And who wouldn't want that? That's like a Christmas bonus, right? For all your team. Speaking of team, the second reason it's a danger is because you're making your team, if you have a team, work overtime. So if they have to go to all of these different places to check statistics, to check the data, to even move leads around and manually manage them, manually managing all that stuff is just causing a huge overhead. Now, this is potentially a larger investment because having a a team member spend time on something that could be automated is much more expensive than simply paying for two softwares that do the same thing, right? The third danger here is that you're not getting the correct data. So if you have different stages handling different parts of the software, now don't get me wrong, you are gonna use multiple different softwares in a funnel. I'm specifically talking about different softwares doing the same thing, just to clarify. So a danger here is that you're not getting the metrics and the data correct, right? If you have leads coming in one part, sales happening in another part, and and maybe you're moving things manually or, you know, pages, a lot of times I see kind of a combination between ClickFunnels and Kajabi or ClickFunnels and WordPress or ClickFunnels and whatever, right? So you're getting some traffic data in ClickFunnels, you're getting some purchase data in Kajabi, you're getting some lead data in MailChimp, you're getting all, you know, all of these things all over the place. Now, to be clear, going back to you are going to have multiple pieces of software, but the important thing is that your hand you you can understand and follow a user flow. Now, if this means that it, it is going to be a active campaign WordPress and some cart system. Like that's kind of what you, that's the base of what you need. So if you're overcomplicating it more than that, you could have data slipping through the cracks. And when leads come in and they go from one step to another, you want to try and calculate and track that journey as close as you can. So I know this isn't sexy and I know this is kind of the bane of a lot of your existences, right? (laughs) So it's not sexy, but what is very helpful is if you understand what each piece of software is doing and here's the kicker is capable of. There's a lot of times you get a new piece of software because you hear it does this cool thing. Well, chances are might already have a piece of software that does that. So knowing what your software is capable of 
is key. And it's not sexy. It takes some digging. It takes some understanding. That's why a lot of people hire me to come in and just tell them, like, I'm familiar with all these things, all of these things, right? So I look at their funnel and I say, well, look at this. You've got these two different softwares. They're handling the same thing. You actually don't need this one because this software that you already have can do the job, right? So understanding what you need is one part of it. Understanding what your software is capable of is the other part of it. So that's just some quick tips. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let's talk about it. But now let's simplify and overcome. Hopefully that helps you out to simplify that funnel launch system, whatever you're building, simplify it, understand what the software does, clear away the software bloat and have a simpler management process and a repeatable system. All right. Thanks.